much of our time let me see if i've connected to our finance minister wada nenianya so that she can take it away can you hear me wada nenianya uh, yes i can hear you Marzi. all right wada, the whole out. world yeah. is listening please go ahead yeah thank you very much um i'm supposed to be here with my team maybe they're having network issue but i'll proceed Go ahead, please. They will join later. Yeah, thank you very much. Good evening, great IPOB family members around the world. Biafrans, friends of Biafra and lovers of freedom. Including our enemies. I welcome you all today. The last day of the month for the month of February 2022 and a monday my name is mrs nen nayanya and by the special grace of chuko kika Abiyama, i am the head of finance of ipob worldwide and also a member of the directorate of state i will say the reason later why i mentioned it because somebody asked me question and i will answer this the, the question here on air today I have with me here my colleague Nelson Yagazie, and I think it would be good if he can unmute himself and introduce himself. Their friends are waiting. Nelson, unmute yourself, please, and introduce yourself. Deo. Deo, thank you. Good evening, ma. Yeah, good evening. Deo. Yeah, my Kejku, good evening. Deo, watching okay. Welcome. Thank you. Bear friends all over the world and friends of Bear friends. My humble salute to you all. Where I am now is evening. I say good evening to you. Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. And even good night according to your time zone. My name is Nelson of Okayagazi. I am from Mosa in Biafra land. Uh, by the special grace of God, I serve the people of the indigenous people of Biafra uh, in the capacity of uh, Secretary of Finance, I feel the worldwide. By extension, I oversee finance matters in Asia and in Africa, and then some parts of uh, South America too. And they won. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice. Now we go on to our sister, Informa. Linda, is she here? Ifoma, are you there? Not yet. Now we proceed. Dear friends, we thank you, Kokika Abiyama, for this day. We thank him for the life for the life of our leader and for all genuine Biafrans. It is not easy because some have slept and they couldn't wake up again, but we thank him for the life. This evening, I remember the last time I came on air, I did say that I'm going to call out of countries that have paid their ESN into the correct account. Correct account is their firm Freedom LSC, but it seems some people have now decided. I see it that everybody is now turning to become in finance. Everybody now wants to be in finance and decides what happened. And this is wrong. We have a structure. We need to work hard to protect this structure jealously. The structure laid down by our leader, there is no need people shifting the pole when it comes to finance, they are shifting the pole left and right. And from this moment, I say that is not going to happen again. I have kept quiet for too long, it's not going to happen again. I have shifted this pole back to where it was, before our leader was renditioned from Kenya 
to Nigeria. No more. It's not going to happen again. No more business as usual. I will advise everybody, please, to remain within the departments assigned to them by our leader. This idea of people coming on air and telling us that ESN is not paid by people in America, this is very wrong. Because by doing that, it means you are discouraging people. You are telling them, oh, wait a minute. They will not say, oh, wait a minute. They don't give money, which means that account is not correct. And this is discouraging people. Discouraging them from paying into the correct account approved by our leader. This is wrong and it's got to stop. And the second thing now is that the next thing you start hearing, oh, no, 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 refuse to release money. Oh, she refused to release money. That's why we don't pay money there. This is wrong. Anybody coming to you to say that I don't release money, let the person provide the evidence that I don't release money. Continental reps are going about telling national coordinators that uh, head of finance is not in charge of uh, ESM funds. I don't understand. How can somebody say that finance department is not in charge of ESM funds? Who then is in charge of ES funds? Ask them the question. Where did it state? In our code of conduct, the continental reps are now in charge of ESN funds. Where? I will advise us, please, to go back to our code of conduct, section 3, subsection A, finance. If you go to paragraph 7 and 8, I will read very slowly. Paragraph 7 states, all IPOB financial transactions, be it in form of monthly donations, levies, or fundraising, shall, after gathering of such funds, be handed over to the appropriate financial officer, to which financial secretary or treasurer, who, after taking proper record of the funds raised, shall remit same into official IPOB general account as provided by the head of finance to all family units. It did not state as provided by the continental rep or by any other person. It states categorically clear here, head of finance to all family units. But some people are doing otherwise. Now, the second one, paragraph 8, states, For clarity, no principal officer from the unit coordinator to the continental representatives, other than financial officers, shall have anything to do with collection of funds. So why are instructing national coordinators to withhold their funds and to pay to wherever they want them to pay. This is wrong. You've gone against the oath of allegiance that you took. You've gone against Onyendu's instruction, which states that the ESM fund must be paid to Biafra Freedom LLC in America. And tonight, I'm going to read out the names of countries that have paid into that account. And in case you don't hear the name of your country, then it means your money did not go to the right place. Then ask your coordinators, I mean the national coordinators, what happened to your contributions. Very, very important. The second point I'm going to state here now I will go to Lezo. I want to explain exactly what it stands for. Our leader wanted a group set up that their function would be to raise funds. Not raising funds just once, but continuously until Biafra is restored. And this group comprises not only IPOB, 
but also non-IPOB family members or friends of Biafra and lovers of freedom. Everybody. That's how the liaison group was born. And that was in March 2021. Their first fundraising was in April, 24th of April, 2021. I'm saying this because I knew when it started. I was the one that passed on the most of the information to their head. That is Lady Chini. Now, their first fundraising was on the 24th of April, 2021. And our leader was present in this very fundraising. And I was there as well. The reason why I'm explaining this is because some people are telling others that a liaison group was established when our leader was in DSS. It is not true, please. It was in March, 2021. Their fundraising was on the 24th of April, 2021, and our leader was present. And after that, they also raised other funds. And the money there was sent to where our leader wanted it. He gave me the instruction and I passed it on and that fund was transferred. It is not when our leader was detained. I want to make that clear. It started in March 2021. And their function, the assignment given to them by our leader is, like I said, continuous fundraising. It is not a one-off event. It is either every two months or every three months until Biafra is restored. So they don't need a special permission because that is the assignment given to them by our leader. And because I also part of it, I know what is going on. They have 100% of my support to raise funds anytime they think they want it. And I want to commend all those that are there. Lady Chinere, Hai Chief Obuefi, Mrs. Chinwe, Edimwa Chuku, Amaze, Ndidi Anworom. Those are the ones that I know. The others, please pardon me if I don't mention your names. I commend all of you for the great work you are doing. And it's because of this um, liaison group, that's why we were able to save America financially. When we had this crisis, they were the ones that was raising the funds that help us to pay for our legal fee and, of course, from funds that we have in Germany. I decided to explain this because some people don't know and some have decided to confuse others by telling them that it's something new. They are trying to tell people that our leader is not aware. No, our leader approved it and our leader approved that they open at their account and I have a view asset into that account. So it's not something that was established when our leader was renditioned from Kenya to Nigeria, please, I want to make that correction. It's very, very important. Another thing I want to make a uh, point out here is this. Somebody asked me a question. I don't know why. I don't know why he asked me that question. He said to me, are you a member of DOS? I said yes. I asked him why. He didn't explain. Then his the second question is if you are a member, if you are a member of DOS, why then don't you join them? We don't hear your voice in question and answers. Well, I want to answer him these two questions because I don't know why he asked me the question. Maybe people have been asking the same question. I don't know. The first question, he said, are you a member of DOS? Yes, I am a member of DOS. I've been in DOS since 2014. And there, I was also part of the first group in DOS. And when we had those, uh, the crisis, Many of them left. They were expelled from DOS. Only three of us remain. Myself, Mazio Forma, and Mazie Dozim. 
So the new group joined in 2018, some 2020, some 2021. And there we have a depart, uh, we have a continental reps. We have continental reps for Africa, Europe, Middle East, Australia, Asia, South America, USA, and Canada. For them, the continental reps, as soon as you are a continental reps, automatically you go into DOS. But for those of us that are not uh, continental reps, our leader appointed media, added media into to the Directorate of State. And I'm not the only one. We also have about two or three. Some don't have portfolios, but they are also members of Directorate of State. And not only that, we also have regional representatives like South, Southern Africa. There's somebody representing Southern Africa, Eastern Africa, North and Central Africa, and also West Africa. Africa. Now, they are from the, the continental reps, their function is to oversee the countries under their jurisdiction. For example, for Europe, continental rep, he's responsible for all the countries in Europe under his jurisdiction and cannot go to another country to decide what happens but within his own jurisdiction. That is the way our leader made it. I don't know if I've answered the question of that person because he wanted me to explain a little bit more and tell him why I'm, uh, if I'm there. The second question he asked me was, why don't I come on air with others on question and answers? Well, I don't have to come on air with them. That's when they want to do their own question and answers but I will come on air for question and answer if it is necessary. But at least I do come on air often, you know, to address their friends. So I hope I've answered his question. Their friends, our people look up to us, especially those of us that are principal officers. It is important when we come on air, to encourage our people. Because what we are doing, especially this critical time, many people are worried, especially since our leader is not being given access for uh, our lawyers to visit him. A lot of us are worried. And it's not good when we come on air, we start insulting coordinators or state coordinators. I'm saying it because some people know that it's not correct. But instead of cautioning some people, people will keep quiet. Well, I will not keep quiet because it's not good when something is not good, it's good to voice it out. It's not good when people come on air and start insulting coordinators or state coordinators or threatening their friends. You know, it sort of discourages them. It will discourage them from continuing what they are doing. They have that fear. And that fear is not correct. It's not good because when you put the fear in them, they will now slack back and it will affect uh, uh, the contribution. And finance departments, our function is to make sure that we raise funds in this struggle. So when people now are reluctant to contribute, I don't think it's good for our struggle. Please, when we come on air, we need to give our people that love, that sense of belonging, that they belong in what we are doing, not driving them away. It is not good. So please, let's try and correct ourselves because the very radio that people will come to insult them, they make, they make payment for this radio. So I don't think it's appropriate to degrade people just that way. Rather, that sense of belonging is what they need and we need to give it to them. Another point I would like to make before I go on to call out the names of the countries that have not paid. When somebody is a head of a department, you are responsible for the day-to-day -day running of that department. You are responsible for appointing anybody that will work with you in that department because you know the criteria 
for that work. You are responsible to make sure that if there is anything that is not working well, you fix it. That is the responsibility when you are a head of any department. And because of that, I've gotten approval from the highest command of this movement that I have the right to appoint who will be the national finance officer and the national treasurer in the United States of America. And not only in the United States of America, but everywhere around the world, because I am the head of finance. And as a result, the following names have been appointed and the highest command of this movement accepted them. The new USA National Finance Officer is Reverend Sister Angela Ogeke. Ogeke. Why the National Treasurer of USA is Mrs. Chiwe Edi Machuku. These two people, the finance department, have had a meeting with them and they accepted the offer and they are ready to serve uh, Bia France. What happened in 2021, I will not allow it to happen again. I've kept quiet for too long and it's not going to continue that way. We need people that are devoted, people that are loyal to our leaders, people that will follow the rules and regulations laid down in the code of conduct, people that are trustworthy, and people that have the fear of Chukwu Kikabiyama. And with these two people, I'm sure America will move forward again because we need a new beginning. I don't want people that, you know, you are not sure of whether they are with us or the other side. So please, um, I'll endeavor to give them their uh, your maximum cooperation. We need a new beginning in the United States of America. Now we go to ESN. I also want to remind dear friends, it's not just our ESN, also our monthly dues is very important because that's how where we started. It started with the monthly donation before ESN came in place. So please do not forget about the monthly donations. It's also equally important just like the ESM because this one is a monthly basis and our monthly donation has not changed is 30 euro per month for those of us in other parts of the world but in USA theirs is 50 dollars or more that is the way our leader did it and approved it and of course he announced it on air I commend every continental I commend every coordinators from coordinator down to everybody that is, you know, working very hard to make sure that we restore Biafra. Freedom is not cheap. It is not free. It costs money. I commend every one of us. We are working. We are doing very well. But we cannot pat ourselves until Biafra is restored. Remember that we need funds for the legal fee of our leader. We want his unconditional release. We have people that are also in prison. We need to pay for them. We have people that, you know, most of, some of them that are dead, we pay for their burial. We give their families some funds to help them. It's, and some of them, we help to pay their school fees. We don't come on air to announce all these things. We have so many of them in prison that also needs to be released. And your contribution is very, very important. Please, your cooperation is important. Now we go to ESN. ESN, I'm going to call out the names of countries in diaspora. When I mean diaspora, with omission of Africa, please, because Africa, they do not pay to, to the account in USA, which is Biafra Freedom LFC. They know where they make their payments. I will go to Europe. Please, I want to make it clear. ESM funds, do not send your ESM funds to Germany, please. Germany is only for monthly dues 
and and uh, compulsory levies. Please do not send your ESN fund. If you have sent your ESN fund to Germany, put it in writing, apply, I will refund it back. I do not want any ESN fund in Germany, please. There is a reason why we don't send our ESM fund to Germany. Please take note. It's very, very important. Now, I will go to those that have paid to the Biafra Freedom LLC account in the USA. That is the national account of USA. Europe, not America. I mean, I'm sorry, not London Zone. In the United Kingdom, I paid. They paid into that, that account. I have two individuals. I don't want to call their names. Maybe they don't want it. Now, Leeds, Zone, Leeds. I'm still in United Kingdom. Leeds have paid Milton Keynes, Sheffield, and Croydon. Those are the zones that paid from United Kingdom. And this fund came in on the 29th of November 2021. So if you paid in December, it means your fund is not amongst those that pay. That's why I didn't call out your name. Now, also still in Europe, the country that have paid into the account approved by our leader is Austria. Another one is Italy. Another one is Moscow. That's those are the countries that have paid. Then the others, what happened? I didn't see your fund there. But if you have paid and your name is not mentioned, the name of your country is not mentioned, please send in your evidence of payment and then I will update my record. But this is what I have for Europe. Now we go to Asia. Asia, I've not received anything in that account, but two countries called us, the finance department, to my colleague Nelson, that they have problem in transferring their funds to Germany and also to USA, the ESM fund. So we are going to have a meeting to, with them to know if there is a way we can help them to sort out the problem. Only two countries. The rest have not received anything. If you have paid to the account approved by our leader, kindly forward your evidence of payment because you cannot pay to another account and then you claim that you have paid because I've documented all the countries that have paid and those that have not paid and those that have not paid, the names of the national coordinator is there and the names of the continental rep is also there because any question why your ESN fund is not paid, it's not the continental rep that will be questioned, rather the national coordinators. That's the way it goes. Remember, in one of our leaders' uh, uh, brokers, I think that was in the United Kingdom, he made it clear that national coordinators in any country that they represent him. So if you represent our leader, and you refuse to send the money where he approved, then I really don't know, you know what it is because you will be the one that will answer the question. Now, we go to Middle East. Middle East is only Israel. And Israel is only zone two that have paid their ESN funds. The other countries in Middle East, Kuwait, UAE, Qatar, Turkey, Bahrain, Jordan, and Lebanon, they have not paid. If they have paid, then I need the proof. But if you pay to another account that is not the one approved by our leader, then you have not paid. South America. In South America, Brazil say they have paid because I sent the account to them, but I still have not received the evidence of payment. It's only when I receive the evidence of payment, then I will update the record. Suriname, still in South America. Suriname sent us an evidence of payment, and I checked the accounts. That is the national account in the USA. I didn't see any funds, and I got back to them. They said they are having problem. I hope maybe they have sorted it out now, but they tried to transfer something, but he didn't get to us. Now, Australia. 
nothing from Australia. I've not received anything from Australia. Now, Africa. Africa, I didn't call out their names because Africa, they know where they pay. I'm only, for now, those that supposed to pay to the um, USA account. Those are the names that I called. Now, the ones for Africa will be maybe in my next announcement. Now we go to Canada. Canada made payments on the 26th of November 2021. And since then, I've not received any payment. The fundraising they made, uh, they did in December 2021, the money has not been remitted. I sent a message to the person responsible to remit the funds. I called, no response. She did not call me back. I sent a message in the signal, giving her the amount that was then I say I want this money remitted because we need the funds. Nothing happened. I also sent somebody to tell her that this is the situation. Nothing happened. And from the Code of Conduct on Finance, paragraph 7, it states that is the head of finance that will give the accounts where money will be paid. And our leader made it in, uh, clear in one of his announced uh, brokers that if the head of finance calls you, that you have to you know that there is problem. I don't, um, I don't, I'm not here for anybody to like me, but at least my office must be respected because I'm not the one that put myself there. It's our leader and I'm the head of finance. So I think I did the right thing. And because of that, from henceforth, no more money will be paid into that central account of Canada where they pay their uh, funds. Every ESM funds, whenever in Canada they make any fundraising, you pay the money province by province direct to the account in USA, the national account. The same way you send your monthly donations straight to Germany. You send your ESM funds straight to USA National Account because the money has been there for long and they refuse to remit it for reason best known to them. When people make contribution, the money must be released. You don't keep people's money because they paid it for a certain purpose and it needs to be used for that purpose. It's very, very important. No more money into that central account. All ESM funds for Canada must be paid to USA national account. Now, tomorrow they will say, then I don't want to re re release funds. Now, USA, United States of America, I'm going to call out the names of the states that have, have seen their funds in the USA national account, and they are as follows. Massachusetts, Florida, Washington, D.C., Maryland, New York, Michigan, Arizona, New Mexico, Kentucky, California, Illinois, Minnesota, Texas, Indiana, North Carolina, Ohio, and Louisiana. These are the ones that have paid their ESN into their accounts. I commend every one of you, everybody that have made contributions for the ESN, may you call them my bless every one of us because I've also paid as well. And for those of us that have been paying their monthly donations, it's very important because another announcement, I will call out the names of countries that are owing. You know, these ones are countries that have paid, but for monthly donations, I normally call out countries that are owing because I can't call out those that have paid because it will take a whole day. Like I said, our monthly donation is still ongoing. Please do not relax because that's where everything started. The same way you are paying your ESN, endeavor also to pay your monthly donations. 
like I said before, people are complaining, are saying that um, Sanya is refusing to release funds. It is not correct, please. It's just not correct. You know, because if anybody wants funds, I've been releasing it. But when you apply, I need to go into it, you know, I need to look into it and evaluate it and know if it's correct. And then sometimes ask questions before I release it, because this is public funds and it needs to be accounted for. You don't just release public funds like that. So this idea of going around telling people that uh, um, Sanya don't want to release funds is not good. It, I mean, people have to stop it. It's no good punishing somebody's image. If I, it, my name was on air the whole of last year for the six months. It's still the same procedure, the same thing. Nenea refused to release money. Nenea refused to release money. Our leader told Nenea to release all the funds from Germany to, um, to America. Wrong. False. Never a time our leader said I should release all the funds from Germany to, to USA. Never. All these lies. And this is 2022. I don't think I'm ready to go through this again because I went through a lot last year. I know what I went through. So please, 2022, I'm not going to accept it. I've kept quiet for too long and not again. That is what I have for now. I'll come back again. I want to give my colleague Nelson time to say something. Nelson, over to you, please. Ndeo. Ndeo. Ndeo, sister. Ndeo. Ndeo. May God continue to encourage you in the work you're doing which you have been doing since 2014. You have not failed. And by the grace of Tuku Kabiyama, you will not fail. Biafans, good evening once again. My name is Nelson Yagazi. I'm the Secretary of Finance at POV Worldwide. Um, the head of finance have said everything necessary to be said. I only want to remind us that the code of conduct is rule of law. And if we are going to condemn the zoo Nigeria, if we are going to criticize them for disobeying their own law, for saying that their leaders are above the law, then we should endeavor to desist from anything that will portray us in that same light. Because when you do not obey the rule of law, the country do not function properly. IPOB is a struggle, it's a freedom, a freedom fighting group. We are not yet a republic. We have a code of conduct, which is our own rule of law, is a guidance. If we stick to that code of conduct, word by word, we will not have confusion, we will not have misunderstanding, we will not have problems. There will be smooth running of the struggle. Problem occurs when people disregard that code of conduct. Problem occurs when people leave their own area of assignment, their own office, to venture into another person's own. Sometimes you do not know how it runs. You do not understand it very well. And that's when problem arise. Let me remind us that our leader passes message to different heads of department as is due for them. Finance is a department headed by our sister lady Nenia. Information or instructions regarding financial dealings goes straight to her. This we should bear in mind. The code of conduct is here to be referenced to. We should keep it sacrosanct. With this done, there will be smooth functioning of the struggle and we will overcome the enemy. Remember, the moment our leader was abducted, the first publication by BBC is that the family, the ISAPOV family, 
is in disarray. Shortly thereafter, some people allow themselves to be used to bring that very false publication to fruition, is to make it look like real. We've crossed that era. I believe everyone has come to his senses. I believe we are moving smoothly now. Let us be it in mind, let us pay attention not to repeat the same mistake of yesterday. Our leader is here suffering for us. Whatever he's going through, he's going through for you and I. If we are disobeying a structure set up by him, we are not doing him any favor. We are not doing him any good. He cannot claim to love him, but disregard the structure set by him. We cannot claim to love him, but disregard the people he put in position. Therefore, we have to respect the people he put in position. We have to respect the structure he set. We have to abide by the rules. Even when we have reasons to feel dismayed, we are under obligation to obey them. Dear friends, this is all I have to say this evening. And I say, may God in heaven supply you even more, more than you are given for this struggle. Whatever you are doing, whatever genuine, All right. Uh, Problem. I think there's connection, Matt. Yes, I can see that. He will. He will come back again. All right. Okay, just give him few minutes, All right. Thank so. you, Bia France, and uh, of course, yes. continue listening. Uh, we're waiting for our brother to reconnect. Uh, I believe he's having a connection issues. Yeah, he's having connection issues. Uh, do you have any question? Is there any area you want me to? to clarify again all right uh, my dear i just want to say something quickly just like our brother was saying before he got uh, disconnected by the network um he was talking about immediately our leader was um you know abducted um let me say that the first thing the enemies attacked was our finance all right um there's a reason for yes. that and I want their friends to pay attention. And that also informs what you went through the whole of last year. Finance, they know that if we can attack IPOB finance, destroy it, IPOB will be on their knees. Because there is no freedom fighting outfit that can flourish without finance. It's, it's highly impossible. So, uh, this is from me to you and as well to Bia France all around the world. That what we went through last year and still going through this year is our enemies knowing where to strike. This is Radio Biafra, this is finance. If they can take out Radio Biafra or capture Radio Biafra or maybe, you know, put in like a distrust in our finance department so that people can withheld their fund and stop contributing then there will be no ipob but i must say that because elohim is elohim we have overcome if we are still standing at this moment in time i want to tell you my dear we have overcome so let your heart not be troubled i keep saying this that you know clear conscience fears no accusation and of course we must continue to do the needful we must continue to hold and guide this struggle jealously until our leader is released unconditionally this is just what i want to add uh, in terms of question i don't think i have because everything has been said if you are paying to the wrong accounts well uh you are against us i must say that if you are of paying course. to the wrong account you are against us and anybody whom his uh, leader is not paying to the right account they need to ask questions where is our money going to over to you wanda yeah Thank you very much. Um, like I said, everything started with our fundraising. I, I'm sorry, the monthly donations. And um, I mean, we have done a lot. We should be proud of ourselves, but we can't pat ourselves at the back now because the 
work is not yet over. Absolutely. Until we restore Biafra, then we know that yes, done. But I mean, we are really doing very well. I encourage everybody you know, to continue paying their monthly donations. I know some people will be complaining every time, you know, she will come on air, she'll be talking about money, money, money. Yes, I have to talk about money, 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 because that's what we need for this uh, for uh, restoration of Biafra. Um, there's no uh, politician that is paying our bills. It's you and me. It's our contribution that is footing those bills. So I encourage everybody... We are doing great. We should continue, you know, remember our leader, our prayers. It's very, very important. Of course, uh, next time I come, I'm going to talk about receipts. Max, you remember the last time you said something about uh, people not releasing all the funds? There's, a, there's something we are going to, we've started doing now. Yes, yes. In finance. Uh, with receipts because i realized that some of these receipts some people will collect receipts and uh, they will apply for a new one without submitting the first one without knowing whether the first one is already exhausted and then they claim for an, uh, they come for another receipt this is going to stop and that will be in my next announcement you know for today the points are there that the new national finance officer in uh, US, they have mentioned, and the new treasurer, national treasurer, Mrs. Chimwe, Dimachuku, and our Reverend Sister, who is our national finance officer. And now, you know, with the fear of God, I mean, I don't think we will go wrong this time around because you can walk, you can only walk well with somebody who have the fear of God because that person will always move in the right direction. I thank everybody. I don't know if my colleague Nelson wants, uh, has any closing remarks and then uh, I'm through. Is he back? Yeah, he's back. All right, let him come. Unmute yourself, Mazi. Yeah. On that one, no, I don't have anything further to say. I was almost concluding when my network dropped. There won't be a friend. Thank I you very can, much. May God uh, continue to bless and encourage you. Yes, yes, that's the way it is. So we are from finance department. Any financial announcement has to come from the finance department and not from any other. That's the way our leader made it. I didn't do it that way. It's our leader. That's the way it has been. So now that it's in the DSS, it's not good for people to be shifting the pool, shifting it, shifting it. Anyway, I have shifted it back to where it was before our leader was rendition and that's where it's going to remain like i said i don't have anything against anybody some people will be saying there is problem in dos for me i don't see any problem there is no problem in dos i don't have any problem with anybody i'm just here to do my work the way it was given to me and then we restore biafra and that's it so i thank everybody i encourage everybody to do their best in truth and honesty, with pure hearts, with dedication, the love. When you work for your country, show that love. I mean, it's different. Chukwa Abiyama will bless us in our own way. We say. But this idea of pulling down one another is not good place. We should encourage one another and show people the sense of belonging. Because everybody that is making payments, everybody that is doing what they are supposed to do, they are all important. Everyone is important. As long as you are contributing, as long as you are doing what you are supposed to do, every one of us important in this struggle. And we need them, but not stable to us, place. We need genuine ones. And together, Biafra will be restored. You yes, say? Thank you yeah. very Thank much, Wanda. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. Our colleague, uh, Informa, is not there. Maybe something stopped her. But, at, least, um, at least she would have given so. me a bit of uh, OP, OP. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yes, next time. <laughs> not a problem. Yeah, next time. Thank so, you very thank much. Thank you very much for there giving was. us this opportunity. Thank